All right, y'all. Today at Digital Downs Live, we are talking about auctions, horse auctions, virtual horse auctions. Okay. We run them every uh, few weeks at uh, Digital Downs, and it is a great way for new members to obtain horses for a pretty fair value, if not undervalued in a lot of cases, and also uh, a way to obtain uh, some of the top horses on the site um, in, uh, in, in a quicker manner than, let's say, developing them, developing them on your own um, or trying to land uh, a surprise in claimers and things like that. So uh, not just for new members, but obviously for all the existing members, the auctions uh, can be a very active day. Um, people look to, you know, unload horses to, you know, for various reasons, sometimes to uh, re-up some cash flow, to make some other purchases in the auction. Um, but in general, it's just uh, a place to kind of a place to kind of wheel and deal. Now, the the auctions themselves are, are fairly easy to enter. We'll kind of go through some of that, but just kind of look through what the auction looks like. Um, the, when you enter a horse into the auction, it's a, it's a $2 entry fee into the auction and it'll be uh 2000 game credits basically is what it is. It's the same as $2. Um, and when you enter the horse into the auction, it'll look like it does now here on this page. Um, it'll show the, just a real basic information about the horses. And then on the right hand side, it'll show you, uh, what the minimum bid is. If there's a minimum reserve bid, um, um, it, you know, it'll be there. You can place your bids at any time right here. You can, if you like a horse that you see, you can go ahead and put your bid in here, click go. And then you, you know, your bid is in, um, we generally, uh, well, let's say not generally, but, uh, you know, as far as, as long as I can remember, the auctions have always been, um, on Sundays, the actual ending of the auction, the bidding process, as far as winning and awarding horses has been on Sundays. Wednesdays, we usually, uh, the Wednesday before Sunday, that the Sunday we, we open the auction for entry. So basically you can open the auction. You can enter your horses Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday into the auction so that they can be auctioned off on Sunday. Um, as soon as the horse is entered into the auction on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, the, the horses can receive bids, um, all the way up to the time you know, Sunday. So on Sunday, when the auction, the actual auction begins, it's on a timer. It's two minutes, basically in between horses, people have time to place bids on horses. And, um, if there's a bidding war, it gets extended by 30 seconds until there's a winner for the horse. Um, and it goes right down the list for the most part until the auction is over. Um, and on the auction page, like this is the auction page here. You'll find that under uh market and go down to the bottom. You click auction, and it'll take you to the current auction, or you can click current auction. It'll take you to the same page. Um, like I said, it's a basic horse information here. If sometimes people will put notes uh, into the horses for a quick view. So if you click more details, you'll see that this person here put this note in here as a quick reference, as far as it splits at six furlong, what they think about it as far as a breeder or not. Um, if you want to see more information about the horse that you may be bidding on, then you can just click on the horse here. And it'll take you to the horse page and it'll give you more information about the horse if it's any, been in any previous races, if it's had any work times uh, to show um, and all this information is clickable. And then you can go into its pedigree. You can go into its confirmation. It's uh, if it's a breeder, if it has any foals, this one doesn't have any foals. This one hasn't have any racing stats as well. Um, but like I said, it's, uh, it's the horse rating. So it shows you a lot more information about the horse that you can dive into. Um, so we'll go back here, click off of this real quick. So yeah, so all the information that you need for the horse is is right there. If you need additional information that you, you haven't found on your own, you could always message the owner of the horse and, and get the information that you're looking for, you know, if they reply. So again, uh, auctions happen here every, you know, a couple weeks or every three weeks. It's a great way for new members to jump on in. Um, and uh or existing members to you know to to fill out holes in in their barn um and um i'm trying to figure out oh there it goes it snapped off <clears throat> so let's let's so again that's goes you go to market you go to auctions and then you can go auction calendar view last auction or current auction 
if you want to see what the auction was, uh, the results of the last auction where you can click view last auction and it'll take you to all the horses that were listed. Like these horses here didn't receive any bids because the bids would be placed over here to the right. And um, let's see what most of what bids. So you see this horse here, this horse here at bid. So uh, it won't show you who's bidding during the auction, but after the auction closes, it'll show you who who the sell, uh, who the the the, the, bidding, the bidding stables were. So in this case, it was Creekside and Doc Lutz stables. They both bid for this horse for 30, and the, the winner was 30,000 to Creekside. And you can see the date, that was January 20, 21st, um, 2024. And you can always, you know, click into the horse and, well, this one doesn't click into the horse, but uh, you can, you know, you can always, well, I'll show you another page where you can show the results. And if you want to see like how the horse is done since the bidding was, you know, since the, the new stable has won the horse, you can check that information out. So you can see like, just run down this list as far as past auctions and you can see uh the types of horses that sold and what they sold for who bought them etc 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 right so um so that's that's if you go to market and if you go to auctions and then you go view last auction the current auction obviously is what we were already looking at right that's showing you all the horses that are in the current the current auction and guys, listen, I'm telling you, if you're if you if you're a new stable or you're thinking about joining Digital Downs, look, we have uh free registration. We give you four free horses, we give you free game credits, etc. You can join today and you can race tomorrow. I'm sure you've heard me say this before. But the auctions are there's no better time, okay, to join and be active than an auction. There will be hundreds of horses into the auction, okay? And some of them are gonna go very, very cheap. Okay, because they may be a certain type of horse that many other members already have and they don't want them. Let's say you just want to break the ice in free races or you want to break the right the, in low claiming races like the, the, the auction has so much to offer uh, when it comes to, you know, uh, supporting new stables. Okay, uh, we also offer insurance on on some of the stuff, too, for horses that are unraced and for horses that are purchased, you know, if you place a purchase of uh uh, 100 hours or more on an unraced horse after 20 races um, if the horse has failed to earn or equal the auction purchase amount after 20 races you're eligible for a 50 50 percent cash back uh, from the auction price it's basically like a, an insurance policy it's all right here it's listed at the top of the page you know it's very useful uh, well no it's rarely used because the horses do earn Okay, it's just there just in case you're worried about an unraced horse. I mean, proven horses have a lot more data to go off of. An unraced horse, you're really just going off of work times. But I think it's a cool little thing that we've added to help, uh, you know, to help people, you know, kind of if they're in, you know, if they're not really sure, they're on the fence of making a purchase or not. Um, sometimes that might put them over the line. Um, but again, for, for new members, it's a great way and great time to join the game. Also, if you're a new member, and you're thinking about getting into the auction, take advantage of the sales packs we have. We have a new member sales pack where you it's 100% deposit match. Uh, so if you're thinking about getting into the auction and you want to drop 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, whatever it is, we match at 100% to help you get up and running. Another great um, option for new members. And again, you can find that under market and under package deals. That's where you'll find uh, new member deposit bonuses. I mean, there's other packs in there, but we have one that's specifically made for new members. You can only buy it one time. Um, and uh, well, actually that pack, I believe, is the one that's in there. It's a $100 pack. But, you know, there's other other options available for deposit matches. You can also contact the admin. And um, I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you out. All right. So if you're curious about like uh, like pass auctions and stuff, right? So you can go to... If you go to racing office or no, no, let's just scroll to the top. So if you're, if you were curious about let, you know, um, past auctions results, you can go to racing news and go to horse transfers. Okay. And then you're going to go to click claim, uh, click auction. Okay. And then this is all, these are all the horses that sold for in the auctions this season. Okay. Not just last auction, but any auction this season. Uh, you see right here, it says season 57. You just go to like, uh, you, I already clicked auction. So these are all auction horses. I'm going to sort this by transfer amount. And now it's resorted it to the highest prices that were paid. Um, 
on uh well the highest ones were on january 21st which was the last auction so the highest the highest priced auction horse was red monarchos that sold for 250,000 game credits which is equal to 250 us dollars right so red if you're curious about red monarchos we can click on it it's a three-year-old filly poncho racing stables uh you know won the horse and these are its last Three, last three races since the auction. So it was auctioned on January 21st. It ran January 26th in a sprint qualifier, finished third. It made $30. It ran again on January 30th. Okay, finished second. It won $62. So it's made $90 back off of the 200 and whatever it was, $50 purchase price in just three, uh, in just three races. So um, that's kind of how you can look at, you know, different horses, what they sold for, what they were auctioned for, et cetera. And and see how they're doing with those horses. Um, let's see. Let's go back to the breach of contract was sold. Also, it's a three-year-old gelding. Uh, Foggy Dan Farms bought this horse, and he bought it. It was again on the twenty-first, and he raced the horse in a turf sprint qualifier two days later. Finished second for nineteen dollars, and then it finished fourth. For four hours, fourth for six hours. So I maybe he's just trying to still feel out the horse, but it's uh seven races in, three wins, one second, one hundred and fifty-one dollars total in in earnings, and it was gelded on December eighth. So like I said, it's a useful little list that's uh, you know, or to use as a tool, um, to track some of the auction buys. You know, so let's go to the third one down. It was a three-year-old filly. This time's a charm. It was purchased for one hundred and forty dollars on the 21st and this one here is finished fifth and third okay and there's different reasons why people may buy the horses let me see could be confirmations could be bloodlines could be the horse rating 10975 so this time's a charm 14 races two wins two seconds and a third and maybe looked at as a mare a future mare as well so um Let's see. Uh, let's just look at one more. This one, 10 gold stars, was purchased for 120. And then Cuckoo's Nest was purchased for 113. This was purchased by Enmore Racing Stables from Aloya. It's a three year old Colt. It's got nine wins, uh, nine races, four wins. And it's still looking to refine find its form from December. This is a Colt. This obviously uh, could be looked at as a sire as well. If you look at the confirmation, you know, people are looking for certain things and it might fall right in line with what they're looking for. So there's there's varying reasons basically to to buy horses, whether it's for uh, claiming races, whether it's for stakes races, whether it's for future breeding sires or mares. Um, that's there's value in that. And that's why, you know, uh, people are looking to acquire them. And some people may have, you know, many of these things and they don't mind actually uh, moving away from them. As a trafficker was purchased on the 21st, it finished fifth, fifth, and just finished second in a sprint qualifier for 35. So, um, let's take a look real quick at season 56. Let's look at what the highest I wonder if it will show us what the uh, some of the auction prices were. Seasons 56. Thinking is thinking. There we go. 270. Magic Memories was purchased for 270. Red Eye, 250. Field of Magic. Check out Magic Memory. I believe that one's a that is a breeder. Magic Memories. Yeah. It was purchased for breeding for the breeding operation. So anyhow, we don't have to keep going over it. Um Again, it's just uh, just for those that are already involved in a stable. Just a reminder. Again, you know these. Uh, we have a live auction this Sunday. Um, people are entering horses now, so if you see this video now on YouTube or wherever you catch it from, whatever social media uh, you know page you see it from, um, today is I believe February eighth, and the auction is on the eleventh. So you know there's still time to join. 
and and take a look at the horses in the auction and uh, even meet some folks on Discord and maybe get some ideas of what horses to buy. But you can definitely come in and scoop up horses for probably as low as two dollars. You know, tw you could probably get 10 horses for 20 bucks and be up and running at Digital Downs. There's some great value there uh, in the uh, in between stages. Well, in between, like, let's say, uh, unraced and stakes caliber horses, there's this large area of racing for conditions that a lot of these horses will will um, do very well in. So there's a lot of value um, at play. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, uh, if, if anybody has any questions about what we do that's not part of us, if you want to drop it down into the comments, I'd be more than happy to try to reply to them. And like I said, you know, it's free registration. Just join today. You can race tomorrow. Tell your family, tell your friends. And uh, it's a great place to be. So digitaldowns.live, digitaldowns.us, virtual horse racing, and uh, a lot of fun. So hope to see everybody uh, on the track or in Discord or wherever you may hang out. And uh, I'm out.